The new AI Hunyan models have opened up a huge range of 3D generation workflows within Comp UI. In this video, I will take you through a native and quick to run workflow where you can generate interesting conceptual voxelized meshes for your design concepts. These can be done from either a single image or multiple angles. I will go through both of these, and these workflows can also be expanded to generate smoother meshes, UV unwrapping, and applying textures. Getting started with these models is very easy, as the latest updates of CompUI allow you to load the 3D Hanyuan workflow straight from the main menu. Get this done, go to CompUI, up to Workflow, Browse Templates, 3D, and you have the two main workflows. First is single view, and the other one is for multi view. Starting with the single view, this can run in less than a minute and is very straightforward to use, as you only need one image. Sometimes when you load it, it prompts you to download the main checkpoint. If not, there's a note here which you can click and download the checkpoint from the Hugging Face page directly. Make sure to rename it and save in the CompUI checkpoints folder. So add your main image, make sure there's no background. You can also add in a background remove node using the custom node Grim BG. The empty latent space uses a resolution of 3072 by default, but you can increase or decrease this to change the quality of the output. The case sampler is a standard one, which you would use in any image generation. The quality is strongly affected by the VAE decode. This gives you the options to set the chunks. This is essentially used for memory management, where more chunks means lower memory usage per chunk, but there is potential for more visible seams and artifacts. If we decrease the octree resolution, this will make it very voxelized and boxy. So the standard is 256, but you could go up to 512. I'll run this, show the initial results. It is quite interesting to see these layers. It's a bit like a 3D print. From previous experiments, I've had better results with more square architecture, as it is more difficult to get the organic forms from just voxels. From the menu here, you can also adjust the views. So if I switch to normals, you get a better idea of the geometry. Since the geometry in some ways is rationalized and simplified, this could be taken into another software like Rhino or Grasshopper or further manipulation or analysis. I will change the octree resolution to 512 and run this again. Now we get much clearer definition and it looks more like an organic landscape. If you run this at 256, it takes less than a minute to run, while the 512 takes about three times as long to run on my 12 gigabyte GPU. You'll notice at the top here, there are some artifacts and holes. You can also try reducing the chunks to subtly try and remove this. Now after running in, you can see that it has fixed these gaps at the top and improved the general shape. Now this was a basic workflow from a single image. So let's try the multi-view. I'll start a new workflow, go back to 3D, select the Hanyuan multi-view template. You may be prompted to load the new multi-view checkpoint, which you can do and paste into your checkpoints folder, or once again, manually download from the notes here, which takes you to the Hugging Face page. Main difference now, that you can add a front, back, left, and right elevation. The default workflow is missing the right side. So duplicate the load image and clip vision encode. Then connect the clip vision model to this and link this to the right side slot in the conditioning node. One simple way to get a multi view of your building is to generate a 360 video and then remove the frames. I did this in a previous video, so you can check out. Once you have generated your video, you can drag that into Photoshop to extract the frames. If you don't have the timeline activated, go to Window and select Timeline. To export the frames, go to File, Export, and Render Video. Switch to the Photoshop image sequence, and you can render out all the frames or just a couple. 
These you can then pick out from the folder. If you generate a video without a background, you don't need to edit it. Otherwise, you need to remove the background in Photoshop or Conf UI. I'll drop these one by one into the correct image slots. And I'll increase the octree resolution to 512 from the start. Immediately, you notice that the quality is much better than the previous workflow. And the voids have more details and are less fragmented. It makes a very interesting conceptual elevation as well. You can switch to wireframe and see these voxels and how they are composed within the mesh. There are also a bunch of other views and download settings which you can take a look at. You can get more accurate results with less organic form images. Here I've extracted various views from a stacked office tower video I generated. I'll drop these all in, change the settings and run again. The stacking effect, recesses and cantilevers are picked out quite well. The main disadvantage is the fact that these facades are not flat and have these ripple effects. But for simple massing studies and comparisons of quick generated images, it's quite an interesting workflow. You can also take this a step further to create more smooth meshes, create UVs and textures from them. This is a more advanced workflow, so I'll go through that in the following video and see you there.